everyone in this lecture today i'm going to talk to you about s and e staining in details so what what is s and e staining s and e staining is also known known as hematoxylene and eosin staining this is a common staining technique that is used in pathology and histology lab to visualize cellular and tissue structures the representative staining image of s and e staining has been shown here as you can see that here the cellular structures are very easily visible where, wherein nuclei have been stained with the blue coloration whereas the extra uh, cytoplasm or other cellular components have been stained, stained with the uh, purple or pink coloration so then what is the prin principle of HNE staining HNE staining is applied after the tissue has been fixed, dehydrated, embedded, sectioned, and the section has been mounted on a glass slide. So hematoxylene is a basic dye that stains the nuclei of the cells, resulting in a blue or purple coloration. Okay, hematoxylene is a basic dye that stains the nuclei of the cells, resulting in a blue or purple coloration. So as you can see that in this picture of HNE staining the blue or purple coloration okay blue or purple coloration uh, represents the nuclei because hematoxylene stains nuclei with blue or purple coloration so whereas eosin is an acidic dye and that stains the cytoplasm and other extracellular components of the cells resulting in pink coloration okay so you can see here pink coloration and this pink coloration this pink coloration the pink coloration that you see here is the eosin stain and that represents cytoplasm or extra nuclear extra nuclear component okay cytoplasm or other components than the nucleus okay so uh, with HNE staining we can nicely visualize cellular structures present in the tissue section so then what is the protocol of HNE staining so the protocol uh, shown here is for paraffin sections two times five minute in xylene first the paraffin sections are put in two times five minutes in xylene two times three minutes in 100 percent ethanol followed by one times three minute in 75 percent ethanol followed by one times three minute in 50 percent ethanol and finally two times washing in water and after this process uh, the tissue sections are put in hematoxylene for 30 seconds and then the tissue slides are uh, dipped five times in deionized water and followed by five seconds in eosin followed by five times dipping in water followed by two times in fresh water and then two minutes each in 50 percent ethanol 96 percent ethanol and two minute in xylene and finally the slides are mounted with entilin mounting media okay so then how to analyze SNE staining results here we have two pictures picture one is for sample one and picture two is for sample two so when we compare the sample one and sample two results you can see that in sample one we see more nuclei more infiltration of the cells whereas in sample two we see less nuclei so less infiltration of the cells so uh, when we compare sample one with sample two we can say that in sample one more nuclei okay more nuclei or the more cells have infiltrated whereas in sample two less cells have infiltrated 